Okay, today we are going to talk about algebraic representations of dilations. We've been talking about dilations all week long. Um, so we're going, this is the last part. Um, it's not a real hard part. We've kind of talked about how dilations, in order to find the new side or the new point, you have to multiply. And that's really all we're talking about doing. Um, this first one has given you a breakdown of exactly how they do that. I'm going to tell you that the algebraic representation for a dilation looks like this, x comma y, and we are going to change that to, for this particular figure, they give us a scale factor of 2.5, so that would look like 2.5x comma 2.5y, and then we would just put a parentheses there. All that's really telling us is that we're going to take our x and our y and we're going to multiply them times 2.5 to find our new or our prime. And they did that for you here. For a, your point was 2, 2. They took 2.5 and multiplied it times your x, which is 2. And they came over here and got 5. And it just so happens that y was 2. So when they multiplied 2.5 times 2, they got 5 again. So your new a or your prime a is 5. Same thing here. 4 is your x, 2.5 times 4 will give you 10. Then they took your 0, that's your y, and 2.5 times 0 gives you 0. So that's your b prime. You started out with b, ended up with b prime. Works the same for c. They just came over here and plotted the points. Um, we are going to do a couple of these together. Um, we notice that this is an enlargement because it is greater than 1. So we are going to work here on an enlargement, and um, this is the one we're going to work on. And the very first thing that I want to do is I want to look at it, and I want to find out what my scale factor is. And it tells me right here that my scale factor is 2. So I'm going to say x comma y, and then I'm going to put in parentheses 2x comma 2y which means we are going to take all of our values and we're going to multiply them by 2. They've already drawn the old figure for you, and they gave you some points. A is 1, 2. So here for A prime, they did 2 times 1. And if we go over here, 2 times 1 is 2. And then they said 2 times 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. And that gives us A prime. Now we're going to look at B. B is 2, 0, and if we look here, it gives us our 2, which is our x, and we have to multiply that times our scale factor, which is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Then we're going to take the 0, and we're going to multiply it times our scale factor. 2 times 0 is 0. We're going to do the same exact thing with 3, or C, I'm sorry. Your x and y are both 3's. We are going to multiply those times our scale factor of 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Again, for y, we're going to multiply times the scale factor of 2, and 2 times 3 is 6. And then all we have to do to get our new um, figure, it, our dilated figure, is just go and plot these points. A prime is sitting at 2, 4. So we'll start on the x, or on the origin. We're going to go to the right 2, 1, 2. Then we're going to go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to plot our point, and we are going to write A prime. We're going to do the same thing with B. We're going to start on the origin. We're going to move to the right 4. And then we are not going anywhere because our Y is at 0. And that is going to be our B prime. Then we're going to move to C, and we are going to go to the right 6. And we are going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we're going to plot our new point. And that is going to be our C prime. And now all we have left to do is connect the dots. Okay, it's that easy to find your new points. Again, with this one, they wanted to show us a reduction. So they gave us everything, and that way we can follow along if we need help. Um, the scale factor for this one is one-third. So our algebraic representation is going to look like xy 
and then we're going to do one third x, comma one third y. And throw all that in parentheses. Okay, now we're going to try one that is a reduction. We know it's a reduction because the scale factor is between zero and one. And for this one, the scale factor is one half. So if I wrote that out down here, I would say x comma y, and I would say one half x comma one half y. Oops, move that over just a little bit so you can see it. Okay, now I'm going to go find my points. They give me a, which is eight zero, and here they've already filled in our scale factor for us. One half times eight, and that is actually four. And then one half times zero is zero. Okay, on this line, my B started at four, four. They have put those in for me. I need to put in the one halves. Okay, one half times four is two. And again, we're gonna say one half times four, and that's two. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with C. They put in our six and our eight. I'm going to put in the one half. One half times six is three. And one half times eight is four. And then all that is left to do is plot the points. It's that easy. A prime, we're going to go over four. And we're going to stay there because that is at zero. Y is at zero. So we'll have our A prime. B prime, we're going to move over two and up two. And we're going to put B prime on that. And for C prime, we are going to move over to three and we're going to move up to four. And we're going to put our C prime on that. Then we're going to connect the dots. Okay, that is all there is to algebraic representations of dilations. If you have any questions, please come see me during tutoring.